What I remember about being born and living in Congo was uh, there was a lot of war going on at the time, uh, civil war going on. So my dad and my mom felt like the best opportunity for us was to come and live in Canada. And uh, we moved here when I was six years old. It was a big adjustment period for me because French is my first language. So I didn't really speak English well. I had to be in ESL classes and learn a whole new language, a whole new culture. Um, but I adjusted and I was a part of the Canadian national team and I had to call Ron Baird and Steve Nash to kind of ask them if I can get my release to play for Congo because to me it meant a lot, you know, to play for my country where I was born because you don't see a lot of people going back to play for the place where they were born, you know, they'd rather stay to a place where they became citizens of, but because I just, I just felt like it was time for me to do something bigger than myself. I know um, the game is bigger than us and all of us. So it's like, what are you going to do to leave your mark? And for me, it was like, yeah, I got to go back home and do something. Because I mean, first of all, to play for the 905 means a lot to me, um, to be back in the G League. The league alone has gotten a lot better from the last time that I remember playing two years ago. Um, and playing for this team means a lot more because of what they've done. I mean, this team has won a championship. It's one of the places where I know they develop their players. They want the best out of you and they get the best out of you. Um, they, they work you. Everyone expects you to come in and be a professional and to be a part of an organization like that. I know I'm blessed. And then on top of that, when you add that it's home, um, it's like a dream come true for me.